Up next on an end of the day beer review, we're going to be looking at the last of this year's Bourbon County offerings. This is Goose Island's Bourbon County Cask Finish Brand Stout, coming up next. Hi everybody, it's Rich and welcome to the Beer Review. And today we are gonna be looking at the last of the Bourbon Counties that I was able to get this year. This is Goose Island Bourbon County Cask Finish Brand Stout. And this says that it is aged in original series rye barrels and finished in toasted cherry wood oak barrels. Um, and it's in collaboration with our friends at Bardstown Bourbon. Now, I do always like their packaging. Um, you know, you can always uh, guarantee that when you get to this level of the Goose Island variants, that the packaging is going to be very good. And, and let's get this out of the way right now. This cost uh, over $50. So this is a $50 500 mil um, bottle. And actually, it's, it's, it, it's sort of hard to explain, and I don't know why they would do this, but there's actually like a, an alpine scene some type in there, some sort of like coloring that shows up. And like I said, the packaging is really, really beautiful. Um, all right, now here's my worry. So far, I have not been thrilled with this year's line of Goose Island. Um, I think the base is a little too raw. Uh, I actively didn't like the vanilla. I thought the macaroon was quite good. Um, but here we are with our $50 Bardstown. Um, and again, beautiful label, beautiful presentation. But what I'm really interested in knowing is, how's the beer? Um, last year, when you got to this point, you know, we got the um, Angel's Envy, which I thought was good. Uh, but we got the Eagle Rare, which I thought was sublime. So, you know, I'm hoping that this is going to be the, the one that really pulls it all out for me this season. It pours a very, very dark brown, um, a little red around the edges, or, you know, sort of like a cherryish color. A little more carbonation that I'm used to seeing in Bourbon County this year. Um, I will say, not much head, definitely some legs. Um, there's an oaky aroma filling the bar at this point, which is very nice. Um, but again, there's definitely more carbonation than, than usual. All right, let's give the nose a try. If the beer is as good as this nose is indicating, this is gonna be stellar. Um, the nose is this dark, gooey chocolate that has been just soaked in whiskey. Um, now, I have a hard time on the nose uh, you know, between, let's say, the nose on the uh, bourbon stouts and the nose on the, uh, the rye stout. So I'm hoping that I know it, it's, it's, I know it's been conditioned in a rye barrel. I'm hoping there's less rye influence on this than there was on the vanilla. The nose, though, is just gorgeous. That chocolate, that rich wood, um, the dark fruit that's there, there's a figginess that's just just gorgeous. Yeah, the nose on this is beautiful. And what's nice on this is I, I have noticed that each one this year has been, not the macaroon, but the other two that I've tried have been a little hotter than I was looking for. Um, I'm not getting sort of the, the little ethanol edge that I got on the nose on the other two, so or other, yeah, the, on the base and the vanilla. All right, let's give it a try. Yeah, the rye influence is pretty heavy there. All right, so there's all the chocolate that's there. Um, the chocolate is beautiful on this. 
Uh, it's a good thick beer. There's a certain level of uh, of viscousness there that's that's very nice. It's not the thickest beer I've had to be honest. Not even the thickest by Goose Island. Um, you know, I've definitely definitely had them where they're a little bit more syrupy. This that's not to say this is you know like an insubstantial beer. It's not. Um, it, it actually has a good mouth feel. It, there's a good cleanliness to you know the way it clings to the inside of your mouth. It, it's it's very well crafted. Um, but one of the things that I like about Bourbon County in general is that there is a sweetness to it as well. And to me, this is sort of like you, you've, uh, you've pulled all of the sweetness out of a Bourbon County. So I'm getting the chocolate. I'm getting the smokiness, the, you know, there's definitely the barrel there. They're, they're, you're getting oak, you're getting some smoke, you're getting some of that char, but there's none of the sweetness that balances it all out in your, you know, regular Bourbon County, um, which I, I have to say, like, I, I guess I'm not a rye barrel aged type of person, number one, that this year's Bourbon County is... I've sort of proven that, um, and I think that it's really not what I expected from this year's uh, this year's offerings. Um, I, I'll say this as well. Um, I don't know what the ABV is on this. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the ABV is sixteen. Um, it's very pronounced alcohol burn uh, right about here into the stomach. Now I have to be honest, like I've had beers uh, that were 17, 18 percent, you know, 17 or 18 percent ABV um, by Goose Island and you couldn't taste the alcohol because the beer was so smooth. This is like there's a little coal right here that's burning. Um, I find it distracting quite frankly, like it's, it's not adding to the experience of drinking this beer. Yeah, I gotta tell you, I'm really, really disappointed. Um, you know in Harry Potter when the Dementors come and they suck the spirit out of the kids on the ground? Uh, that's what this tastes like. It tastes like a Bourbon County that has, has had all of the sweetness and all of the goodness and everything pulled right out of it. And what you're left with is that bitterness on the back of the tongue. Um, so I'm really, really disappointed in it, quite frankly. Now, this is a $50 beer. Am I dumping it? Probably not. I will probably stop or this and offer it to a friend of mine to try to see what he thinks of it. Uh, maybe I'm being harsh. Um, but I have to tell you, like, this is not the Bourbon County that, and I, I'm, I'm sure there are people out there who absolutely love it. Um, and those people may be better at this because they are more heavily into the rise and that type of stuff. But as someone who predominantly drinks bourbon and has really followed Goose Island's Bourbon County to bourbon and then come back to this, um, I had certain expectations for this beer and it, it's just not here. The packaging is beautiful. It's a well put together bottle. This would be an awesome gift to somebody if the beer inside didn't taste like this. Um, I have to tell you, for the first time ever, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. I I think the 2024 lineup uh, by Goose Island was at best weak. Um, in fact, and I won't even say wait. I just don't think it was a good year for them. The 2024 bait. Well, you know what? I'm gonna do a separate video on my rankings of these. But um, I purchased another one of these to sell her just to see what had happened. Um, but I have to tell you, like, am I going to hunt these up like I did the Eagle Rare from last year? Absolutely not. You know, both of the Rye Stouts this year have been big losers for me. Um, 
but this one is really disappointing because of the price point. Uh, you know, I, I've actually like, I, I know in a lot of videos I, I come off as a Goose Island fanboy and I mean, I, I sort of am. Uh, so when I get a year like this, I am very, very disappointed. And, and that's where I am right now. I am just very disappointed in this year's Goose Island. So listen, if you're like me and you collect these things as well, because I do, um, you know, you might want to pick it up and put it on a shelf. Um, if you're getting this to drink this with friends, if you're a rye drinker, maybe, maybe this is for you. Um, if you're a traditional Goose Island fan, um, you know, and, and again, this is, this is my fault. I spent the money on it knowing full well that this was aged in rye barrels, but I guess in, you know, just inane inanely is the correct word. I expected it to be more bourbon and it just is not. And yeah, I just don't, I don't care for it. So, you know, but listen, if you're a rye drinker, this may be the ultimate beer for you. But for me, um, this is really not, not great. I don't love it. Um, and you know, like, will I, if I see this on a shelf, in a couple of months somewhere, will I pick another one up to put it back because it's so good? I, I will probably not buy any more of this, especially not at this price point. At $50 a bottle, I would really like that bottle to be something that's spectacular. Um, this is probably not one that I would sit here and go, oh, let me share with this person, let me share with that person. But again, bourbon drinker, not a rye drinker, and that's probably what the problem is. But for me, at least, I just did not love this year's Goose Island offerings. Uh, anyway, folks, thank you for uh, joining me on this journey. Uh, not the greatest beer drinking experience ever, but I am gonna sit back and try to give this a little more time to open up, although it's not super cold to begin with, so I don't think it's really gonna have much to offer. Uh, and I will see you next time on End of the Day Beer Review. I'm gonna sit back, drink this, uh, if you like the review, please hit that like button, uh, subscribe. Love to hear if you disagree. Um, but like I said, for now, I, I would have to say this would be on my do not buy list, uh, especially not at $50 a bottle. Anyway, folks, have a good night. I'll see you next time. Cheers. What a piece of shit. Ugh.